Those who have recently walked by the Haas Fine Arts Center, or even more recently walked across the footbridge to Haas, may have noticed a change in the scenery. Internationally renowned artist Roy Staub is a sculptor from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He has been sculpting since 1979, using mainly nature as his material for building these sculptures. He is on campus for his current art exhibition, Four Corners, Four Seasons. That will be displayed in the Foster Art Gallery starting October 7th until October 28th. This exhibition will be of his works over the past 30 years. The sculpture that adorns the footbridge over the Chippewa River is called Eau Claire Currents. He gave it that name because this is the first time he used the river as extensively as what can be seen. To build it, he used many types of plants from the area. I used goldenrod, I used nettles, I used a white flower and a yellow flower and asters, small asters, purple asters, light violet asters, and, and a few other things in between. And I, of course I bound that with jute. Creating something as massive as Eau Claire Currents was not done alone, but with the help of Professor Tom Wagner, the director of the Foster Art Gallery, and numerous students with various majors came to help Mr. Staub with this work. Though it can be difficult to understand what the sculpture is and its meaning, that doesn't mean that there isn't one. The current work is the reflection of its environment and where it is. That, that's the first criteria. Nature is stronger than anything that man makes, and it's all, always a relative period of time. Concrete or steel always breaks apart also. So uh, I'm working in a shorter lifespan because I'm using natural materials that come from the site. When it comes to Mr. Staub's art, he likes to have water be a part of it. In Eau Claire Kearns, he uses the river's current to make this piece special. He told me while working on it that this is the first time he has used the river to this extent. At the end of the interview, he stated that he likes his art to show a form of meditation. This is Ross Austin for The Spectator.